Most of north central Florida remaining dry, but our rain chances will be on the increase over the next few days. I'm meteorologist Dr. Athena Masson. We do have that very slow moving cold front situated to our south and just ahead of that cold front. Best chance to see those showers and thunderstorms later on tonight, pushing through the Orlando region and then out towards the Space Coast. The best chance for some of these showers to work through will be southern portions of Marion County, but most of that activity again should remain to our south for tonight. Most of us awakening to partly cloudy conditions. 63 degrees about for your low in Gainesville, 64 in McNope. Down in Marion County, slightly warmer conditions, 65 in Ocala, Bellevue. Check it out, 67 only lowering down to in the villages. As for the morning on Memorial Day, shaping up to be a beautiful day, head on off to the beach. We'll start to see mostly clear conditions for the afternoon, especially along the first coast and the space coast. A mix of sun and clouds by around 9 a.m. Continuing into the afternoon, already rising close to 80 degrees. Not done there. Temperatures near seasonal for this time of the year to celebrate. 90 degrees in Gainesville, Ocala, 89 down in the villages. Very pleasant once again if you are heading off towards the beaches along the first coast. 81 in St. Augustine as well as Daytona. A little bit warmer in Jacksonville at 83 degrees. But towards midweek, our showers and thunderstorm chances will be on the increase. Through midweek, that front will remain just to our south. So widespread activity more likely down in central and south Florida. However, take note, by Memorial Day, our winds becoming a little bit more easterly. That's going to be cranking up our moisture values just slightly. But it's not going to be until Tuesday and especially into Wednesday. Now we're seeing more of a southerly flow. Our moisture values really starting to crank themselves up. That's going to help to create sea breeze storm convergence each afternoon. And that could last into the end of the work week. So we are expecting with those sea breeze convergent boundaries could be taking place right over north central Florida. That's going to be increasing our showers and thunderstorm chances each afternoon beginning Wednesday and again lasting through at least the end of the work week.